Welcome back to another review, and today we're going to take a look at the rig called Blue. And this is a free rig from Lupin House, Lupin or Lupin, depending on where you're from, how you want to pronounce it. Here is the site. You can see here the animation is super cute. They have other rigs as well. And this is a free rig. You can get it here. I'll put the link in the description with that exact link here. And also there is a series called How to Animate Blue or Blue, depending on uh, where you get that rig and how you want to call it. How to Animate Fletchy Lip Sync. So check out these series again. I'll put the link in the description as well. There is a blue dialogue competition right now where you can win a free membership, a free mentor membership. But unfortunately, I'm a bit late with this. The deadline is on the 21st. I'm posting this on the 19th. So I'm a bit late on that. Apologize for that. And I'm going to post this on my animation buffet side as well. You can see other animation rig reviews. And that is that. So let's get to the rig. So there we go. As always, it's start bottom to top. I don't know why, <laughs> that's what I do. The outside control here has translate, rotate, and scale. So you can do that here. The inside one has it as well. And of course you can move the inside controller down like that, which gives you technically a new pivot for the bird since it's a flying bird here, right? You can use that as your center if that's how you want to do it. Also on that controller, you have the geometry type. So right now I have it set to normal. So I want to do some uh, texture tweaks here and if you switch it back to temp you get this and if you get it to ref you won't select anything besides the controllers other than that you also have bendy controls here on off so this is tiny tiny let's do this again here they're down here <laughs> since probably this is based on a human rig I'm not sure but that's all I'm seeing I'm zooming out here that's all I'm seeing I think so also secondary controls also down there then you have textures there you go you got pink body changes here you also have pink and purple if that's how you want to do it you also mix and match of course you can go into red then you can go into white and into dark i'm going to stick with the base which is blue I do like the green eyes. What is this? This is the weather. Oh, I'm going to go with that and then the green eyes. Then let's move down here. This main controller here, let's select that. You can, of course, move this. You can also extend. You see the scale here. You can do all of this here. Can you scale? You can also scale and tweak the look of it. It's always fun. I'm going to actually move this down just so you can see it's a bit better. Translate, rotates, and all that. You got the stretch, right? So you can take this on and off. So if I take this guy move it over and I say stretch zero, you can see how much that's going to change in terms of your IK control position. The squash as well up here, you can see the squash difference. It will do it or not. Then you got the soft IK. So this is when you have bendy stuff happening. You can see this here. There's some changes there. You have the length overall you can change here and then the length too. This is below the knee, the quote unquote knee for this creature here. Foot roll. Foot roll weight. <clears throat> then you have the foot roll. You can see that. And then also the weight of the foot roll can change there too. You have a side roll, which is that way with a pivot. Interesting. The pivot is a bit high. Okay. So watch out. It seems like on the left side, it seems a bit better. Side roll, side roll. Then we have a heel pivot. That's from back here. Tip is probably... I would put that pivot probably here. And then we got the toes pivot. Toes kind of the middle there. Then we have individual controls. So you're going to select just these guys. You can do these rotations here. And then you can see this is what happens. You got the big one here that will select all of them. And then at the end of these controls, there's usually sometimes you have options, but you can see there's nothing here. This will be your pole vector. You have a snap. So you can bring this back here and also a parent option. I'm going to leave it at that. That's, of course, on both sides. Why not bring this here? How about that? That's his power stance. <laughs> then we have a little controller here. That will move this out. Oh, actually, they will detach it. <laughs> if you need a one-legged creature, why not? In here, hidden. You got to go in there and you can see it. You can see what is this. Oh, IKFK. That I will probably move over. So in an update, I will probably tweak that and make that a bit more visible. Then we got this here. 
This is your hip control. So now it's going to move that in and out. Then we got your root. The root's going to move the whole thing around. Obviously, can we scale? We can. This guy. That's your low body squash. So you can have that in there, which also scales. So you can shape that character quite a bit. And actually, since we're here, let's do the top one as well. Whoa, that is to the front. You can see that's your squash like that. You can also scale. Speaking of squash, you got the big one here that does all of this in the direction. <laughs> all right. So out and then make this really, really skinny. Let's see, bunch of controls here. Let's go with these guys. That would be kind of your cheat control. And you have that here. You can scale. There's also a control here that says inflate. It's in flat, but it's inflate. Same thing here. Translate and all that good stuff. That is, again, deformation and scale. Yeah, for the eyes. You have the same thing here. It's going to move it like that. S stick to the eyes here. What is this? Rotation. Ooh. Overall lids. And that must be the external. Let's go here. What is this? The overall eye control. That's the whole thing. So you probably take this out and you can create a whole new creature like this. You also have here blends. This must be for the blink though, huh? So blink control like that. And you got blend, ah, uh, how much I see. And then auto lids on off to some degree. That must be to follow. So if I do this, you can see a little bit of follow on the lids. So let's go back here, auto lids off. There you go, or really follow. And if that is happening, you can see how much it starts to break the rig. Cool to have though. I'm always a fan of auto lids just in case it saves time. You want to be definitely more detailed on your own, but it's great to have. You got extra controls here. You got extra controls for that shape. You got the same here up here. So let me see, this must be, there you go. This is your eye ring like that, including the small one up here. That's the same thing at the bottom. So wait, we got one here that moves this. That's the shape, not the lid. And then this is your lid control. And then within that, you have the extra ones if you need to shape this in a specific way. Lots of controls, I like it. There you got the same thing here, all the way in or out. And then you get into the, the nose beak section here. Speaking of which, let's go here. Let's check out a big one. That will take the whole thing. Let's see. Again, <laughs> reshape it. That reminds me of a old PC game character. I can't place it, but anyway, no options in the channel controls, but you can scale. Again, you can make this a little baby one or you make this a bit more like that. Can you scale like that? You can. <laughs> Lots of options. I like this. Always a big fan. If you can scale body parts and controls and stuff like that, it's always super helpful to kind of reshape your character if you want to. Then you got that. You got a zip control. So zip control, if you open mouth like this or the beak in this case right you can move this around oh, it's locked to some degrees but you can move this around but at the same time you can see the zip what that does it zips it to this size sticky lips or any type of shapes like that i'm actually keep this open why not of course you got all the extra little shapes here all the way down whee, to this they're pretty small there i see i would probably also make these a bit bigger i uh, would dare to say definitely lots of options so that's cool you got yeah in there you got your tongue control select this guy up here it's a blue tongue i don't see any color option changes i would definitely tweak that color let me see if i pull this guy out okay you get that in here Ooh, back there you can see all the controls that you have here. There's one down here as well. That's the shape down here. I think I've covered everything around it. Definitely cool. <laughs> he seems freaked out. Speaking of eyes, since we're here, I mean, with them before, you have this, and on this, you got a channel control that is for pupils. Whoa, watch out. Look at that. And then the big one has global on or off. So if I have global set to zero, and let's say I move the root, you can see that the eye is moving with the character. But if I set this to actual global, so world space here, you can see that if I take the root again, it stays put and even rotates with it. 
that is that. I don't think this will do any movement. Sometimes you can scale these and then we'll give you some cross-eyed something. Ooh, but you can scale like that. All right. Then what's up here? Must be eyebrows. If I get it, there you go. To some degree. Also locked. So it goes up and down. Ah, uh, no. You have this control as well to shape it. Interesting. I don't know if I would keep it that locked. Sometimes it's also nice to be able to kind of shape it around, but maybe anything in there? No. Sometimes it's hidden. That you get your little shapers in here. And this is back to the eyelid here. Okay. Then might as well go up here. You got your feathers for the head. I can select all of this. And then you can see and scale. Give this a lot more hair. Just curious, if I take this and I say, how about we make this red? Okay, well, sometimes you wonder about textures, but it all seems to work, that's great. Looking back here, there is nothing else. Let's go to the wings. That's where the picker is gonna come into play for sure. But let's first look at this guy. This is still visible from the outside. We have translate this way to some degree, right? So it goes, Ooh, around the body smoothly. That's nice. It, you can't pull it out, so you can't really deform it there. I would still keep that channel open, though, just to kind of break it on purpose, just in case you want to reshape something. Be kind of nice to, if someone pulls on that wing to get a shape, hold on, to get a shape out, you know what I mean, like this, and then the wings are, are there, I think that'd be kind of nice, too. Backseat rigger <laughs> that I am. All right, what is this? We all know what this is. You got that here. And this is gonna be interesting in terms of channel controls. We can go all the way back here, all the way back here. There you go. So it's not at the tip. Sometimes it's the ends control that has extra stuff in the channel controls, but no, this is the one at the base. Here you have curl. So this is an overall curl. That's what I was looking for and hoping for because it would be a massive pain to do this by hand for every single controller to select this and do this. So this is definitely welcome bend it like that, bend it like Beckham, twist like this. And then we have separate on off, interesting. So if I take this guy and move it out and say separate on, ooh, so that is the full separation of the wing, not anything in terms of the wing feathers. Oh, that's nice, just the ball. So if you want a bouncing ball <laughs> with no feathers, let me see, does this guy have any separation controls? No, huh? This guy is just here. See, that's a bummer. I would actually add it here too. So technically, we take this guy, right? Let's say separate on as well. Take this off. It would be kind of fun. Let's do this here. If it was just kind of a ball without feathers. I know this kind of would destroy the whole rig. And since this is... Um, there's a deformation with a hole, so you can't really detach that, but it would be kind of fun to be able to scale it and hide it. <laughs> so then you end up just having a ball. I know I'm, I'm totally deviating from what it's supposed to be here, but at least the top part would be fun to take that off. It's not here. This is your, as I said, squash and stretch with uh, a bunch of options here too, but nothing in terms of detaching the feathers. But let's go back. And again, we can go in here and let's show you, let's, like that and now you can select all these if you want do this all separately totally fine in case you want more control though let me just go back here is there no this is the same thing as the top fluffy part so if you want to take these you can select that separately there's no main control i mean really depends how far you want to use overlap on these guys but i think this is pretty cool to have the option on this main controller to do curl, bend, and twist, and all that good stuff, but to also have it down here and even up here. I don't know, I'm Thinking out loud. In case you're overwhelmed by all of this here, there's so many controllers. Well, let's put this aside. You have the MG Picker Studio. So you can see here you got everything in there. You got your, the eye rings, the brow base, arm position, IK, FK, you know, all that stuff here is visible and selectable. So that's cool, definitely like that. And that's pretty much it. Let's go again here, just in case any controls are hidden, just like these guys here, which again, I would bring these guys out. I don't see anything else that I missed. I hope I did not miss anything. Very cute though. 
This also, by the way, comes with a separate file. So there is a blue with fur. Now, if you do want to see this animated with fur, then I would recommend the 11 second club. You can see the winner here. The animation that is possible with this rig. It's super cute. <laughs> Look at that fur. So yeah, check that one out. Check out the rig. All the links are in the description, of course. And that is that for the rig called Blue. And if you want to see more of these kind of rig reviews, you can browse around the channel. I got more. And if you don't want to miss any of these, of course, you can always subscribe and you can like this video too for the algorithm. That's how this works. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Until the next video.